Uh, let's start with a cool here. So we get a flat from the small blinds. Difficult to range precisely. But there will be some jack x, there will be some queen 10, there will be some king 10, there will be some king queen. Um, just going to fold this, not closing the action either. Pretty, pretty poor spot to be in, so we're just going to let it go. Uh, definitely some king jack, queen jack, queen 10, king 10, king queen spades, whatever. Plenty of stuff like that. We'll go for a jam this four. Could also non lean sometimes, but... Um, weirdly enough, I think with a fun play in the game, uh, avoiding high variant spots might be more advantageous. Dark Vander, thank you very much for the following, Dark Vander. Once again, Streamlabs, spot on with your little message as well. So thank you, Dark Band. I hope you're doing well. Sporters, I want money. I want money. Got to get in the spins. That's where the money is. Hey, he's crushing the beast. That's what I like to see. And on the crazy day, my creator day, 46.8 average all in pre flop and 115 chip EV. Those days are lovely when they happen, aren't they? They're just like. Sometimes you just. Everything just goes well. You're like, ah, I might try this weird bluff. Bam, snap fold. Ah, just get in. I'll just shove. King 4, snap call by Queen 4 suited. You're like, sweet. And it's nice those days. I always am torn. How much should you enjoy. How much. is a question for everybody. How much should we enjoy the run good days because my goal is obviously to not enjoy too much the run bad days so if we start really enjoying the run good days what are we actually enjoying there we're just enjoying I mean I don't know if it's good or bad I, I don't know how to answer that you know what I mean do we want to just be like much more neutral throughout or do we can we enjoy the run good days and not be sad in the run bad days it's, uh, I, I don't know King to suit yeah not so sure that's a jam maybe yeah, and he wins, so what do I know? We'll play again. Da -da 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 -donk. Donking is fun, and if you do it very well, profitable. Lots of interesting spots with donking. I think it's a really... So a lot of the spots where you'll find when, when donks happen, a lot of things get quite close in terms of the range versus range. Especially on flops. Rivers and stuff and turns, there are some 100% donking spots, but flops especially. Let's take, let's take the traditional... Um, donking spot, uh, which is like everybody knows this by now. Big blind versus button, 25 bigs, 765 rainbow. Hey, there's a spot we should donk. Okay. Uh, okay, good. Well, I was going to give it another minute and then I was going to start the run the run up challenge, but okay, we'll play again. Um, let's take 765. And so, like, there's very few hands there. I don't think any that are 100 donks, like 8 9. 4-3, 8-4, the straights that you flop are quite heavily donked. Probably like 80% or something off memory, but again, I'm not perfect. That's a very specific spot, so I don't actually know. Um, we'll try and make this work with a limp, given Moschino was a bit mad. Nah, I don't know, maybe this is bad because he's a bit, he was, let's say, quite aggressive with a king 2 suit, so maybe just fold. No, no. Anyway. All right, Moko comes in, uh, 300 chef, I don't know who that is, uh, comes in with a limp. I guess we'll try him in ISO. Pretty polar, like most of the middling hands here are just going to jam pre, so this is a pretty polar uh, range that limps. Um, probably a range C-bet from us, very, 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 if any, um, Ace-X in his range that wants to... There's some Jack-X, which is a little lorry, could we have a Jack-7 or something? Maybe check in this, to be honest. Like, I don't know, it's probably a range bet, but I really don't see the benefit of 10s bet in the flop. I also don't see the benefit of 10s bet in the turn. The only benefit I see is that it we look like 10s when we double check here, so he plays kind of perfectly. But let's just do it. Fuzzer8, thank you very much for following. Hope you're doing well. Now, hand look like, looks like 10s. He's limp called him in raise. I just, honestly, what, what value is there? I, just check. I... I, I What's a worst? He could have eight. Oh, it'd be really sad if he has pocket nines here and he's found a limp core in nines out of position. Six, seven. I mean, he's never calling that. So, I I can't think too much of hands he could have there that would call us. Like even a five x, I think it's going to be debatable to call us or not. Um. Yeah, I'm going to flop ten five. We'll flop the four five. And he, yep, yeah, that's it. Exactly that. Uh, Dark Vanna says, amazing, you 
amazing you stream if you can do some time youtuber for low stakes spin and goes bro good luck good luck okay we will we will that's hopefully coming at some point today once we know uh we, these games will die at some point it won't take too long i mean i don't know how long they'll take but we will do some rise up stakes any two card call here 1.67 to win a pot of like 5.8 or something so we need yeah like less than 33 percent against the range okay it sucks that he's got a 10 x suited but literally he could show us 10 x suited and would still probably be plus ev i'll quickly do the maths for you 5.83 divided by one no, one point oops 1.67 okay let's let's go not misclick all right there we go 1.67 divided by 5.83 we need 28%. Okay, if we knew we had 10 x we could probably just about fold, but fine. Nice spot for us to be in. 10-7 uh, off is going to take it. Neutral and only care for the quality of your decision making is the only level headed playing way. I mean, you, you guys are very, speaking full of wisdom, very wise chat. I mean, it always is. Very wise viewers. This channel prides itself on the quality of the viewership. I, I mean... So this is very elite circles of poker twitch that we're we're moving in here i don't know if you guys know that but you guys are all much brighter think of the average twitch poker reg watcher thing step above in this chat that's what we're talking about don't like the three x i'm gonna fold my seven nine yasu yasu tikanis hey you know who that is it's it's a handsome george i got a picture of him hang on i'm not quite Okay, wait, wait. And there we go. Yasu Tikanis is George. Kala file Tikanis file. Oh no, I don't like this spot. What should I do? My name uh, ya Yasu uh, Expiat. Oh no, I win heads up. Uh, very nice. <laughs> so, start sounding a bit Borat almost. There you go, George. Little, little. You played that hand for me, so thanks very much, yeah? <laughs> ah, side spots, aren't they? Uh, I think a cool one here. Could donk jam, could also check jam. I think we'll just donk jam. I think we're less likely to make stakes uh, donk jamming. And maybe he calls a 3-6. That's a pretty good result for us. That's, that's, if I could have picked a hand to be against, it would have been that hand pretty much, yeah. Uh, okay, we'll limp 10 on suits. Yeah, definitely gambly happy. Let's say that. Could definitely see a donk here. Now, we could raise this. We could call. Both options have merits. He did wildly commit with a pair there. So, I'm going to call. Nice card, maybe. Um, I'll take a jam, to be honest, Muskin. If you want to just jam, it's fine. 2BB. Now, I don't know if we should raise or not. I mean, it's a really difficult one, right? So, he's got some 6 6. I think we will click. Because we're so well protected and we do want to just sort of lure in. I don't think he can fold a six to a click. Um, and also some straight draws if he's got a hand like seven three. The problem with click is sometimes he's just airballing here. And that's maybe more of a part of this guy's definitely got the moves. Like it's gonna put us in uncomfortable decisions. And so maybe we have a really comfortable decision not to raise it and then kind of allow him to play his uncomfortable decision well if that makes sense. I'm gonna mark that one uh, and try and figure out what we should have done. Uh, 10 to suit it, 6.3. We'll just jam that in. Close. Not so great with any pocket nines, but we hit top trip twos. One way to go about it. So we could shove it all min raise. I'm going to min raise this because we know Muscino likes to get involved a bit more, and so we want to get him involved. We're going to let min raise call, cool, like whatever. And also we can flop a flush, which is nice. Um, do we ever want to check this? Nah, I'm just going to bet this. So check hearts, kind of bad for us in terms of puts a lot of pressure on his weaker hands quite hard. It's much tougher now to get called by West Ham. At the same time, um, going to go for a little sort of blockery-ish. Like, I don't know what to do with my pocket eights. Or maybe a hand like Queen 10 with a club. Oh, God, it's got a lot worse, hasn't it? Oh, how have these runouts run out? Can we jam now? I mean, we can get value from a worse flush. But that's it. And I don't think we can jam. Because the jack wins, the five wins. That's a lot, big part of his range. I'd be sad if he's got king three of clubs. But I mean, it's just a terrible run out. Yeah. Mm. 
And that was a shame. What's that of a call here? Okay. A lot of outs to hold against, but somehow we do. First, this is oh, I try to think about. Uh, I try to think about run this way. When I run bad, I see it's normal and inevitable. When I run good, I'm thankful. I think that's key. Like, it's just to try not to be too despondent either way, right? When things go well or things go badly, it's, you know, poker's poker. And in the long run, everything, the impact of luck trends to zero. That's a good way to think of it. Because I think often people, like, have that kind of idea that there's some sort of history that luck will remember that you've run bad last month so it's impossible to run bad again or something it's obviously not true but what you can say is the more you play poker the less relevant variances over the, your total results when you look over like your results over the long term so if you're looking over results say over a, a much shorter period then they can have an impact but the longer your the longer your time period the 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 impact if you like of the skill to bluff ratio Sorry, skill to luck ratio, the luck just trends towards zero. And I think it's a nice way to kind of remember that because, yeah, work on the bits you can work on, get the skill higher, your results will be higher long term. Much better to be skillful than lucky for your long term success. Uh, let's check this Jack 5, could also ice it sometimes. We'll check again. It's pretty much like a, 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 an offsuit hand. There's not many that you can't ice. We have also got another, uh, we're going to. Hopefully win this game. I think that clubs will shove. Okay. GG. 